What's going on? This is Julian with the Game Fanatics, and today we are taking a look at the Whirlwind FX Element Keyboard. Mechanical keyboard to be exact. Um, this is a really, really cool keyboard. I got a chance at PAX East uh, before the whole epidemic um, kind of spread to, to check this out, talk to some of the developers, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and the thing that makes this uh, the most unique is the software that comes bundled with the package. Um, it is super lightweight and open source. Uh, so let's go oh, go over and go ahead and check that out. Um, so you can see this is coded in HTML5. Uh, again, super lightweight. You can see on the side of the screen the performance uh, metrics. So you see video at 1920 by 1080. Uh, you have audio. You have the FPS and then you have the CPU usage. Currently, it's using zero to about 2%, I would say on average. Um, and something really cool is right here they have different game effects so within these different games um there are effects that happen on the keyboard that are specific to certain actions um that we see in the game and then if we scroll down you can see other idle effects um that are that are pretty pretty cool and um i'll show you this uh covid19 stat ones that one uh, actually popped up today for me so let's go ahead and get into this demo so i want to go over to this hand cam so i can show you um a few things actually let's do yeah we'll do that so i'm going to go over here to devices the element keyboard is the only thing i have right now um they also make some led light strips and a uh and the vortex speaker that blows air and kind of has some of the same led effects um, so now you can kind of see I have a, a idle animation on the keyboard. If we go over here, you see that there's a hue, saturation, and light. Through that, I can change different colors. Now you won't see it yet. Uh, pick this um, paintbrush, and we go here, and I can just start painting in different parts of the keyboard. Now, when I first got the keyboard, the main thing that I did, uh, not being a huge um, keyboard and mouse user, uh, was to highlight WASD. So out of the bottom of my eye, I could really see um, all those keys that are kind of specific to my need. Now, one thing you will want to do, um, if you just want to have whatever animations or it, the keyboard reacting to the screen you want to go in pick the eraser tool and erase these um, because that will cause the uh, painting these and erases the additional effects from the keys so we're going to go back here go over it and take a look at effects so currently you see i have uh bubbles active okay and then well, actually with this one, and with a lot of these, you can change the, the color of those. Um, let's do, so you can see it right here. There you go. You can kind of see that changing right there on the fly. You can change the speed of the bubble. I don't want that because I don't want a headache. And um, we also have a uh, lightning. So as you press on certain parts of the keyboard, you have a vertical uh, thing there and you can change the color of the strike to be white gray whatever you want it to be let's turn it back to uh i think it was pink wait uh, there we go i'll just leave it there we also have a there's just a plain solid color one um have a heat map so as you Let's go back to heat map. So as you click certain keys, they light up like that. Um, terminal is uh, the matrix, basically. Pretty cool. Rainbow has a color across the screen. You have rainbow pulse, where it kind of changes 
Uh, let's let's go up to speed so you can see that happening. Bubbles, which is what I was using, and this one, like I said, I just recently noticed it, is the uh, COVID-19 stats. So, um, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Not sure how they keep this updated, but it's pretty cool. Then we'll go over here to the media settings, and then I'll show you uh, one of the coolest things, uh, in my opinion. So in here, uh, it kind of shows some of your system settings. You can choose the screen you want the keyboard to react to. If it's reacting off of sound, you can choose the device that you want it to react to. And then uh, I'm going to play a video so you all can see kind of how this uh, how this works. I think it's time to blow this thing and get everybody to stop the game. So you can kind of see okay, um, three, two, it's one, it's two. down sampling the image from the monitor and and throwing it down on the keyboard. Now there's a lot of settings that you can kind of change to kind of make this work the way you want. But really cool, really interactive. Let's go ahead and stop that. Um, I know I've been having a great time with this uh, keyboard. Um, really solid. Uh, it uses, currently I have the, the, the Cherry Mechanical Switches on here. Um, and one very cool thing that you're not going to see with a lot of keyboards, um, especially not at this price, and I'll discuss that later, is that this is a uh, kind of waterproof, spillproof. Um, if you waste something on it, I was told you can just splash some water, get it off, so it won't get sticky. Um, the switches, if I didn't already mention, they come in a red, blue, and a brown. Um, so it, there's customizing customization that way. Um, and then you can also buy the additional key set for about 30 bucks, I believe, that where all the tops of the keys are transparent and um, you can really get some wild kind of design configurations going on with that. So this keyboard is available right now. Um, I believe it is normally on sale. Uh, retail price is $129.99. Um, I've seen it for as low as $99.99. And of course, that's it. That is without the additional keys, and um, no, it's really great. Like I said, lightweight software, um, open source. So, so if you have any experience with HTML5, I won't really get into the weeds with that. You can create your own creation to kind of go into the special uh, whirlwind effects software. Um, this gets my highest recommendation. Um, really want to thank the team over at whirlwind i cannot uh recommend this product enough uh, if you like more hardware uh tips tricks reviews stay tuned to the game fanatics like subscribe and uh see you next time